We're joined on Shrugs Player by Sean Miller. Sean, um, I suppose it's sort of tinged with a bit of um, regret and sadness today. You've scored your first goal for Morecambe, cracking goal it was too. Uh, but it's been a humdinger of a 4-3, but we've come out on the wrong end of it. What are your thoughts? Yeah, obviously we're all, all massively disappointed. We want to wanted to bounce back. We've conceded a lot of goals in the last last two games at home, um, so we wanted to put that right. But obviously we've not. Um, so everyone's massively disappointed. Um, obviously delighted to, to get myself off the mark, but um, doesn't mean much when we when we've lost the game. Um, obviously conceded four goals again, we're making it very hard for ourselves to get anything out of the game. So we're all uh, all disappointed. I'm pleased for him. I'm absolutely made up because. He's one of the best professionals I've seen. Does everything by the book. He's, you know, he's not one of the loud ones of the group, but you can see he's uh, he's very, very focused. Um, as I said, you know, we lost Redshaw, but we're looking. We, we're at the bottom of the food chain, if you like. You know, we've got to go out and Sean Miller's not played much football in the last eighteen months, even longer than that. You know, he's had his injuries, he's had a few couple of loan spells here and there. He's been out of favour. Um, but we've took a chance on him, and it's you know we've started him. I'm thinking five games leading up to today. We've took him out of the firing line for a couple of games because we thought it was catching up with him, which it does. Momentum takes you so far in adrenaline, and then you have a little bit of a a little bit of a dip. Um, and we've got to do what we can't expect him to go straight in and, and be our main man and score the goals. And you know he's had that on his mind about chasing his first goal and things like that. But as you said, I think it was a positive performance by him today to last the ninety as well. I you was know, stretching off towards the end there. You know, it was a good, strong performance by him. But again, we've got to manage him, we've got to do what's right by him. Tom Barker, who's in another one? You know, we've come here, Walsall game, it was his first 90 minutes in something like three years. And how ridiculous is that? But now we expect him to come from a place where he's not really uh, liked, he doesn't get in, he doesn't get his football, and he comes here now and he's our main man. We're expecting to go and play 90 minutes, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. You know, speaking to him, he can't remember the last time he played Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. I thought he looked tired in the first half and I was quite concerned about him but thankfully he sort of got a second win and went again, second half but again we can't put too much on him as a young lad to, to go out there and be our main boy but you know we're, they're the type of players that we've got to bring, we've got to bring them in, we've got to build them up, get them going and I think he'll go from strength to strength exactly the same as Sean Miller, you know I thought Mullen come on, got his penalty, did well, uh, Ellison come on, you know we've got Molyneux, Devitt, we're looking alright going forward. You know, midfield at the minute we're a little bit depleted. You know, I think we miss Peter Murphy for his leadership qualities uh, and his aggressive edge in the middle of the park. Uh, goalkeepers done all right, but it's the back line. I mean, you, you, you score two and three at home. You'd, you'd like to think you'd get um, certainly more than zero points. So we need to we need to put that right uh, fast. Eleven goals in the last three games is not good enough. So we need to put that right fast and. Uh, Hopefully go to go to Carlisle and sort of um, cancel that and uh, try and get back to winning ways.